Sure did beat <laughs> walking in here, I tell you. Sure beats walking. <laughs> Barney's got an allergy of snakes. G'day, it's real action. Michael Guest, my mate Barney with us fishing again today. And look, we're chasing Murray Cod, Western New South Wales. Magnificent day, barometer's pretty high. And uh, it, this looks like a pretty good area. And believe it or not, there is actually some water through there. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna throw the tinny off. We've got the tinny on the roof and on top of the ATV and Bit of a wild trek down through here, but I've got to tell you, you'll, if you have, want, you'll have to wash it when you get out. We will. If, if you want to find some good fishing spots, sometimes they're the hardest ones to get to, but quite often that can be where the good fishing is. Oh, it's not even a drama, mate. Hey, how good is that? Beautiful. Be interesting to see how deep these holes are with the sounder, too. Nice. Relaxing Stay day, through. cod fishing. All right. Looks pretty nice in there. Good, mate. Oh, oh, no, oh boy, no, no boy. I dropped him. So what I wanted to show you was a couple of yabbies here. So it shows what a healthy system we've got. The Murray Cod, this is one of their stable food sources. So freshwater shrimp, yabbies, they'll eat even mice off the surface, insects, small fish, you name it. So they've got a pretty wide diet. It's a matter of finding a lure that's going to, uh, going to entice them to bite. See that big yeah, stone yeah. up there? Yep, Al Capone. Oh, there's a cut him, yep, yep, yep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Come out oh, of the water. No, wow. Oh, nice oh, little fish, mate. Well done. <laughs> it's a nice fish, buddy. Oh, mate, well, just come clean out the water. Uh, yeah, you're just sitting under, just underneath. Hit it straight away, mate. Oh, I'm straight oh, on it. Great fish. Oh, the pressure's on, guessing. Look at this one. Thumb. Oh, oh the <laughs> grip. <laughs> he's, he's solid and healthy, and he'll, he'll just grow bigger and bigger in here. I'll just get him back in the water. Back in there, just going to hold on to him there, yeah. mate. And don't forget with uh, New South Wales DPI, check your Murray Cod regulation. So 55 to 75 centimetres if you want to take a Murray Cod. I've got to tell you, there's no way in the world that I'm wanting to take one. Uh, I'm, I'm much more sort of into that catch and release side, especially when it comes to cod. And there's also a closed season for Murray Cod to let them breed. So check out that New South Wales DPI website and make sure, make sure you do adhere to that. There's a reason why we don't want you targeting fish in the breeding season, and that's because they protect the nest and we want to see more and more recruitment of little cod like this one. Pop that hook out, Barney. Well, oh, right. there's a soft plastic that he ate. What a beautiful fish that is, there's no doubt. That's an absolute magnificent looking cod. Off you go, champion. Oh. oh. Swimming backwards. <laughs> He's gone. So <See> yeah. <laughs> it's a really cool way to fish areas like this. If you have a look at look here, some sort of, I don't know what the hell that is, some type of, well that's actually part of a willow, but there's all sorts of grasses here and it's really difficult to fish these banks um, from the bank, like shore base. Let alone all the snakes you've got to put up with Barney. Snakes, mate, snakes. <laughs> <laughs> that's where this little punt comes in so handy. It's super light. Quite often we've got the six horsepower petrol on the back, but we've got the electric on the front today and we can just cruise up and down these holes. Barney and I can quite easily handle it. The only real weight is the batteries, I guess. Um, we've got the sander in the back there. And if you look at Western New South Wales, Central Australia in general, Barney, there's, there's uh, four drives traveling around everywhere with tinnies on the roof and they're towing vans. And for us, we're towing the ATV with the, with the tinny on the roof. But one like this part here is absolutely perfect. Mate, I've got you parked in the shoulds here. We might move up the river a bit further. Oh, oh, look at this. Sorry, this thing just come up, chase me up. Oh. oh. Big cod? Yeah, that was 80. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> right to the boat. Oh, I run out of water, Guesty. 
Where did he come from? He come from along that wall. I don't know. There might be something down there. He just rolled on it right at the last bit. That was a good fish. Oh. Hey, Carsten. Dear, oh dear. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're like, Go, you they're good like thing. wild, these things coming out of the water. Four to eight kilos, light spin tackles, always good fun when you're doing this. And we've got some 15 pound braid and a bit of 30 pound leader and a little 3,000 size spin oh, rail, and that's a oh, nice. nice little fat fish right there. Slide the net under there for us, bud. That's a healthy looking fish, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. Well done, mate. Good stuff. <laughs> that's awesome. Beautiful fish, and those colorations and markings are. Are just uh, just sensational. Check him out. Cool, mate. And keep him in the water. It's all catch and release, just cod fishing, that's for sure. Off you go, buddy. Oh, 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 a bit of a wash. <laughs> Good stuff. That colour. That looks like the same colour. And look, I think the difference, the water's fairly dirty. The guys had some rain here a little while ago, and that water's dirtied up. So I think that dark colour makes a really good silhouette. Sometimes a lighter colour will sort of blend in with the water yeah, a little bit sure, more. Mate. So I'm going to go with that. So that's that. 3 jig head, so I'll just, um, as we always do, just have a bit of a line-up. It's hard to sort of do all that, but have a bit of a line-up of where you think that's going to sit. And then make sure you just get it nice and straight right down that backbone of that soft plastic. Down through there like so. Poke him out. Slide him up to the what we call the grub keeper. We've got really good hook exposure there. And then what you need to do is tie it on. I've got this one cut off at the moment, that jig head. And just make sure it swims right. If it's not quite right, then maybe you haven't got that um, that hook riding right in the centre. It might be offset a little bit, so just a matter of adjusting it, making sure it swims right. And then it's about putting it in... Many casts sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Many casts, yeah. But putting it in the right spot and getting the bite. Oh, the bite! Oh, no! Oh, missed him. That was a good bite there. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. a bite? On. Yeah, it's a good bite, yeah. Keep working. Oh. Fish there. There is definitely a fish there, Mike. Yeah, you got, got him. him. <laughs> got him that time. Wait, hold on to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Do I have to wait? Can I cast in again? I've had two touches that time. And you done he hasn't waken up yet, this bloke. You've done the, like, the gentlemanly thing. and He was just sitting there, and he's having a go, <laughs> having a go. And look, he's, he's thinking, what have I done? Yeah. Guesty and Barney's in town, <laughs> and, and what have I done wrong? Look at him, he's just sitting there, that fish. What a glorious looking fish he is. I just took my polarised sunnies yeah. off there now. You have a look at the difference. Yeah, they look a lot better with them on. Oh, with them without. <laughs> he's got that white tip on his fin and his tails, and he's doing a little bit of a lap around there at the moment, but uh, you can not you can hardly see him in the water there without that on. But anyway, they're just uh, an Aussie icon there, one of our Aussie native fish. You can't catch them anywhere else in the world. With well, the right colour, mate. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> so, so, so look after our resource. I think that's that's the key thing. Hang on to that rod, Barney. I'll just try and sneak him over. You got to look after the resource because it's uh, it's here for us to all enjoy. And if we do the oh, right thing, <laughs> yeah, he's woken up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the soap next time. Yeah, if we do the right thing, they're going to be around for in numbers for a long time to come yet. And I think that's the key is to is to look after them. I'll just pop that out of there. And there he is there, look at that, pretty little fish. What nice. a glorious looking little fish he is. In great condition and the water quality is really good here and I think having these grassy banks really does make a difference too. I'll let you go champ. Right buddy, off you go. Oof, nice. <laughs> Powerful, aren't they? Yeah, good fun. Let's have a look at the controller here on the electric engine, that little anchor symbol uh, tells us that we're actually spot locked or electrically anchored and then the little symbol on the top there two three tells you out of ten how much power it's burning at the moment you can see the symbol in the center spinning around tells me that it's actually working so it just makes fishing so much easier the wind's blowing pretty hard we've probably got about oh, 15 knots of southeasterly which is probably not ideal for the type of fishing we're doing but to be able to sit in the middle of the of the river here and then just cast either side move across and then sit there again, it just uh, just makes fishing so much easier, I've got to tell you. Oh. oh, look at the fish underneath us on the sander. Really? Oh, yep, yep, yep. Got him? Go, mate. Oh, yeah, baby. Go, baby. Oh. 
Oh, that's oh, a nice fish. Oh, 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 Look at the colours. Nice. You got the leopard print going on. Swing oh, him around. Beautiful. That's a nice looking fish. And I think they use that for part of their camouflage. It's like army greens, isn't yeah, it? It is, really? mate. So yeah. We can probably well, we've got, the, we got the net there, but I I like to go home and, and I'll show my son, young young Flynn, a bit of a bit of cod thumb. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, bud. There you go. So they've got this row of gripping teeth all the way around there. So they come out and they hang on really tight. So they haven't got any real sharp teeth that's going to worry you. If, if you're worried about getting your thumb sanded, then maybe maybe <laughs> you, uh, you want to give that a bit of a miss. That's a beautiful fish, that one right there. Off you go, buddy. Got him on, mate. Got no, him you on. good thing. Pretty cool, that, mate. Oh. <laughs> we had to come back this morning. We the fish here yesterday afternoon, and we wanted to show you what it's like to catch Murray cod on surface. And there's a couple of peak bite times. I think we've got him there. <laughs> and early morning, certainly one of them. And there you go. That is why you go fishing. Yes. Well done, mate. <laughs> Pretty exciting stuff, isn't it? Yeah, that's why you go fishing for Murray cod on surface. That's just. Uh, Fantastic, not a massive cod, but look, I've got to tell you, that's the that's why you go. It's such a magnificent way to catch them. It's so exciting. That that well, that's a, a little paddler we've got on this time, but we've got poppers as well. And just to see that fish come up, it had one strike and then engulf it. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's a nice way to wake up, I've got to tell you, right there. Beauty. He's come back for a second crack there, Barney. <laughs> Told you that was a spot. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a good spot, doesn't it? It does. Oh, oh nice. Here you go, there, mate. All right, no, we're yeah. good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good fun. We're using, we've been using spin tackle and bait casting to tackle or casting tackle on these. Oh, just let me down there, Barney. Get down there. All right. Just a little low profile. Bit of a shuffle. Bait casters are a really cool way, and most cod fishermen are using gear like this. So nice, short, powerful rods. This one's four to six kilo with that low profile bait caster. And I've got some 20 pound braid and a bit of just a short length of 40 pound fluorocarbon there. And that's a nice Murray cod hanging off the end of that. We'll just sneak him into the net there, Barney. He's only just hooked, mate. Oh. Wow. Oh. That is a glorious looking fish. He has not got a mark on him. No harm done. This fella will live to play and fight another day. Wow, off you go, big fella. Straight in there. That's it. Oh! <laughs> you believe that? Oh. <laughs> that was nearly at the rod tip, that. I think he's tangled your hooks up. No. I know. Where you go? I hate to say it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was just I'm nearly ready to pull the. He just kept there coming too. and coming and coming, the oh. fish then. <sighs> no, that is. Those little looks. God. Did you have it on or not? Yeah. The fish? Yeah, how big a fish was it? Yeah, it was alright. Probably the same size as that one here. Oh, 
Go on in. Oh. That was a, more of a gentle sort of a slurp, that one. It wasn't a, a big buff, but it's a nice, nice pretty fish, looking mate. fish. Nice fish. The sun's up a little bit higher, so maybe the surface fishing can tend to slow down a little bit, but Ooh, we've got nice oh, weather and a good barometer. Good fish, that, he's nice just got fish. it, hasn't he? We've got nice weather and, a, and good barometric pressure at the moment, and that makes the, makes the difference when you're talking about cod fishing. There we go. Nice. Oh, look at that. Early morning light, beautiful Murray cod. There's that surface law hanging out to the side there. Just caught on that back treble. They've got two sets of trebles, those paddlers. And it's the back one that's, uh, that's done the job there. He's a nice fish, there's no doubt. All right, bud, we'll let him go, eh? Yep, I think you're down the back of the boat. I'm down the back no of the No rod, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I must admit, I've had a bit of a golden day today. And you have those days when you fish with your mates. Some days, uh, some days are better than others, but I've got to tell you, that is just a beautiful fish. And you can see why they get so heavy when you look at the thickness of that fish. All right, bud, off you go. Marine Rescue New South Wales has more than 3,000 volunteers to help keep you safe on the water. You can log on with your local Marine Rescue base when you're heading out. You can call them back to check your marine radio is working. Best of all, they'll come to your rescue if you break down or worse. It costs a lot to provide this world-class service, so make sure you support your local volunteers whenever you get the chance. Marine Rescue New South Wales, volunteers saving lives on the water. Oh, yeah, was he, mate? Oh, I know, he's going on. Go he's climbed on, on that. Go on, buddy. Come on, you good thing. Grab this net, mate. Oh. <laughs> Go. The power out of those big uh. tails. Well, things have quietened off on the, he's a nice fish. <laughs> things have quietened off on the surface, so I thought I'll just go and throw a little subsurface lure around and yeah, he's just jumped straight on that, that bloke. Look at him go. Nice fish. Good fish. He is a good fish, isn't he? He's splashing around, ready to go, Barney. They're all good fish, yes. mate. <laughs> It's a pretty cod, that one there. The sun's up now and the surface action's slowed down a little bit. So we've, uh, we've just headed uh, subsurface and there's the result. Beautiful looking fish, that one there. Off you go, champ. There you go, buddy. Oh, yeah, got him on. Oh, that's a better fish. Better fish? I think. Seems to be. Yeah, that's a better fish, I think. Better fish. Yeah. There we go. Ready for a net yet, mate? What? Oh, maybe. No. Hold on it pretty hard, that fella. Oh. Yeah, he's just staying down deep there, Barn, at the moment. That one's a different sort of fight, isn't it? She's um. Come on, buddy. Good fun on this light tackle button. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. I don't really oh. know today. Nice soft rod. Come on, buddy, we haven't seen you yet. Nice. Oh, that's a nice fish. Nice. There he goes. He's going around. Oh, oh nice fish. <laughs> nice fish. He's pretty solid, isn't he? Oh, here he comes, mate. Here he is. Oh, look at that in the sun. That's that next. Look at that oh, in the net. Oh, that's a quality looking fish. Very heavy set fish. As I said before, uh, once, that, um, once that sun gets up nice and bright, then you've got to mix it up a little bit, and we've certainly done that. Well, certainly I have. What have you been doing? Mate, I've been trying to mix it up and just... You've been mate. really... He's been good with the net so far, <laughs> I'll give you that much. Pretty quiet at the moment, <laughs> mate. <laughs> he's been very handy with the net. Oh, look out. It's a little flat bottom punt that we've got here is just doing a magnificent job for us and it lets us explore lots of areas and um, I said before you see lots of people up and down not only out in the western areas here but up and down the coast with little tinnies 
uh, mounted on racks and on roofs and on four-wheel drives and uh, exploring all sorts of out-of-the-way places just like we've got here. Now that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, send in the photo to our Alfabs Cracking Catch competition at realactiontv.com. To get you hooked up, every week we're giving away an Abu Garcia rod, reel and line combo along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. That is one beautiful looking Murray Cod right there. You've been watching Real Action, Guesty and Barney. We'll catch you next time. Bye now. Here you go, buddy.